Retro Unboxing. Hello viewers, welcome back to the channel. I'm Jonathan, thanks for watching. Today's video is a little different to usual. Uh, I've done a similar video before about a year ago when a, uh, a friend of mine had asked me to uh, refurb, his, uh, re refurb his Mac Mini. Uh, which I did, and uh, I put it on here, and and it did okay. Um, it's not my usual thing, and I'll be back to consoles and mobile phones and such very, very shortly. But in the meantime, uh, as I said, uh, a friend of mine had asked me to uh, sort out his Mac, or his iMac, uh, 2011. I suppose that's where the retro comes in for me, is that it's uh, a 2011 model. It's... Coming up to 12 years old shortly, and, and he was saying that it was running a little bit slowly. Uh, I have just tested it, uh, as you can see, and, and it booted up in sort of 45 odd seconds and then another 10 seconds to log in. Uh, so I think that's pretty okay. Um, just having a bit of a click around now just to kind of see uh, how what the specs are and how quickly it runs. It's got 8 gigabytes of RAM. It's actually an i7. Uh, Core i7 model, uh, I would imagine 470, 100k, whatever, uh, from from back in the day. Uh, and in all honesty, it's actually pretty quick. Um, I, I don't know what he's whinging at. Having said that, I've I've kind of wiped it, so it's that that probably made a big difference. But you can see, uh, you know, it's it's opening up. Hello there, uh, it's opening up. Uh, all these apps pretty quickly uh, it closes them down pretty quickly and in all in all I I think it looks pretty good anyway he gave me a few quid and said right Mara stick us some extra RAM and uh, stick us an SS one of these one of these fancy uh, SSD drives in there for me uh, that's exactly how he talks by the way uh, stick one of these SSD drives in so uh, so that it runs a bit quicker Mara Right, no problem. So that's what I'm going to do for him. Uh, so I've picked up a 500 uh, gigabyte uh, WD Blue uh, SSD and then a couple of uh, sticks of RAM. So I'd already been and checked out which RAM that I needed. In this case, it's DDR3 uh, 1333 uh, megahertz. So the first thing I needed to do was unplug it. Uh, now, what I know about these uh, older iMacs is the power board is right in the top corner. And if you don't leave it off for a few seconds or well, for a good 10 minutes or so, there's still some charge in some of the capacitors. Now, the other thing uh, I'm going to reiterate at this point is that I'm not an expert. I'm not, you know, I do do this, uh, you know, kind of part time, time to time, just upgrading and uh, refurbishing some of these old Macs, but I'm not an expert. So please do not consider this to be a tutorial per se. I'll talk about some of the pitfalls and uh, and how I've done things. But the first thing I want to say is uh, what you actually saw me do there was just pull the glass off the front of the machine. Because a lot of people will tell you you need to buy some suction cups and you need to go on the internet and you need to spend uh, a load of money on uh, brackets and, and this, that and the other to be able to do this. And, and honestly, you don't. What you really need to do, get your fingertips behind the glass, pull it off, job done. Then the kind of harder bit is, is the bit that I've just gone past, which is to unplug the screen. And there are actually four cables, uh, so you might need to just rewind the video here. Um, but there are, there are four cables all sat behind the screen, and you've got to pull them all out individually to get the actual screen off and out. Just pointing out the power cable, uh, the power uh, board there. Don't touch anything on there. There's a there's a little symbol on there saying danger of high voltage. I have touched one of those before, and it it took me uh, it took me a few hours to uh, just to, to to walk again. Um, what I've just stuck my thumbs up there. I'm, I'm very pleased because uh, I, I wasn't going to do the thermal sensor on the SSD. Uh, because you can actually just install a, a, a bit of software that sorts that out for you. So, uh, and 
you know, keep paying an extra 20 quid for the thermal sensor, another 20 quid for the bracket, another 20 quid for the suction cups. You know, you're up to 150 quid to, to repair a machine that's worth less than 150 quid. So all, all I actually, or all, all we actually spent on this was um, 20 quid for the RAM and 50 quid for the SSD. Uh, but yeah, uh, so you'll notice the drive that I'm taking out, uh, and that's why the thermal sensor uh, or the fan sensor uh, for the hard drive is in there, is because this has already been refurbished at some point in, in the past. He seems to think probably six or seven years ago. Um, so there was this two terabyte uh, HDD in there. And yes, we put in a smaller HDD in, um, but it well, uh, it's SSD, so it's smaller in capacity, but it's it, it will be faster. So I'm just showing you here that you don't need to use all these fancy brackets. I used the existing bracket that the uh, the main HDD was in, one screw, and then just a bit of tape, and that's not going anywhere. Yeah, you know the the SSDs are that light; it's not going to rattle around in the case. It's it's secure. It's as secure as it needs to be. You know, it's it's not going to be delivered by yodel to anybody. Um, but you'll you'll see once I've I've, I've screwed these last two or, or this last screw in there on the left that actually this is not it's not going anywhere. Uh, and actually, I'm I'm sure I've probably given a bit of a wiggle. Um, it it looks pretty solid to me. So yeah, I'm I'm quite happy with that. Try and. Uh, do a little bit of tuckage there with the cable, and then stick the um, stick the screen back on, and and that's kind of about it. It's it's a pretty simple process, really. The like I said, the hardest bit, and this is the sort of next hardest bit, is getting these bloody cables back in. Um, I think uh, I I got stuck on the fourth, which is the shortest. Uh, which is this one here that's got its own little um, hinge. Uh, so I, I actually just laid the Mac uh, back down on its on its back and, and kind of got in and under there. So all I'm really looking for here now I've got everything uh, back in is that the screen comes back on, which is always a bonus. And then we should have a folder with a... Uh, question mark because it, it doesn't recognize the uh, the drive so that's exactly what I'm looking for now there's a, a, a million and one ways that you can reinstall a, a an operating system into a Mac I chose to create uh, an installer drive you can do that with either a USB stick or an external uh, SSD or whatever you want really um, but you you can either do it before you uh, start this process or do it on another Mac or another computer or whatever. So uh, the way I did this very specifically, well, actually, right, reverse. I completely forgot this was uh, a, a mountain lion operating system or OSX uh, lion. And unfortunately, it uh, seems that Apple have basically turned off the internet recovery and and the ability to uh, re re download and install OSX Lion um, directly to the machine. Uh, you can do that with most of the modern uh, operating systems, and it's a doddle. But what I had to do uh, in this instance was use another computer to uh, download and installable version of high sierra to what you'll see there the pny uh, that's just a 120 gigabyte ssd just plugged into a, a little kind of um, sata to usb uh, converter and plugged into the back of the uh, 2011 mac and within 25 30 minutes the operating system was installed onto the internal drive like I say, there's a number of ways you can do that. That's the way I ended up having to do this one. Uh, as you can see here, the uh, the installations just kind of come into uh, to a bit of an end. And in a few moments, we are going to have. Mm, there we go, setup screen. So, just running through setting the computer up, and and there we go. 
Uh, so the uh, PNY drive is still plugged in. Ask me if I want to use that as a time machine. I do not. So I, uh, I'll unplug that in a moment. But I'm just sort of checking it out. The first thing I always do when I start any new Mac is to put the right click uh, on a mouse. Very obtuse that uh, Apple still don't just support right click on a on a on a mouse out of the box, but I'm sure they've got the reasons for that. So here I'm just checking over everything, make sure everything's all all working, and it is. Everything is all now running off the internal SSD. So I'm just going to shut it down because there's one thing left that I need to do. Uh, yeah, is is this? So uh, there's there's still two slots of RAM free. Uh, so I'm just popping some extra RAM in, and that's pretty easy. You just pop this little trap door off the bottom of the Mac. I just quickly checked. So at some point, as I say, it's it's been refurbed. Uh, I, I imagine it maybe came with four gigabytes initially. Uh, so someone's put eight in. I've now put an additional eight in, which takes it up to 16 gigabytes. So now it boots uh, a lot faster and it has 16 gigabytes of RAM. So my my good friend uh, Jeff will uh, will will enjoy that extra little 30 seconds he also has got to, to between pressing a button and the computer coming on. I mean, to be fair, looking at that, it's got to the login screen in, in just over 20 seconds, which uh, is quite a lot faster than it was uh, with the old mechanical drive. Uh, and we're in we're into the desktop, uh, just a, a quick sign in, we're into the desktop less than 30 seconds. So without a password, we're into the desktop in under, under 25 seconds. So hey, fair play. Not bad for a nearly 12 year old uh, Mac. I mean, it's probably good that it was a a good a good sort of uh, starting spec. An i seven was was always going to be pretty pretty decent. Sixteen gig of RAM is 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 great, and uh, an SSD in in anything always improves it. So again, you can see I'm just having a bit of a bit of a flick around here. You can see everything just snaps open so quickly. Uh, just that little bit quicker than before, although, you know, I, I've not really got any uh, basis for a, a scientific uh, argument on that. Uh, I've just popped an extra little bit of footage here. Um, this is a gig I filmed a couple of weeks ago, uh, all in 4K, 100 uh, megabits per second. Uh, and, and actually, you, you could edit uh, 4K video on this on Final Cut no problem at all I, I had a good 20 minutes i was going to do this video on on it but i would got a lot of messing around to do so uh so yeah uh, all in all i'm i'm very pleased with this uh, little little project uh it took me a day or two to get sorted but uh, but there we go so uh, thanks for watching i hope it's helped and uh, see you on the next one retro unboxing <laughs>